Praying, praying mantis. All right, this is our Kung Fu Wushu Praying Mantis training session. In this training session, we're gonna start with I'm gonna show you how to hold Mantis hands properly to be able to strike with power. All right. And then I'm going to show you full exercise to build up the strength for your mantis hand. And then we're going to practice some fundamental training for the mantis style. All right, let's start. First of all is mantis hand. How are we going to do it properly? Come a bit closer. Is try to do like this, peace. Alright, and then what you're gonna do is put your fingers together and then your index finger bend forward and use your thumb to put put in between of your index finger and middle finger to support hold them together. So this way, this is the mind his hand. The other side is the same. See? That's mind his hand. And uh, when you can do Mantis hands properly, next one is how to build up the strength for the, your Mantis hand, your fingers. So if your fingers are not strong, even though you're holding the Mantis hand properly, but when you're making a strike down or strike the side way, you, are, you snap your finger. Okay, you, you don't want to break your finger, right? Ugh. That means your fingers is not strong. So now, next, I'm gonna share four basic exercise to build up the strength for your fingers. So this, those exercise, also you can train, practice, you know, when you're doing other animal style. If it is involved of the fingers, such as tiger style, right? Tiger style, you need to make sure your tiger claws strong, right? And <clears throat> uh, eagle claw, eagle claws, eagle style, your fingers need to be strong. Snake style, mantis style, and so on. You can use the same exercise to train up your fingers. All right, let's move on to the next. The first exercise I'm going to share with you is quite basic is fingers put on the ground so you can lower down is just to support your body now this is the basic one so we're not going to do too difficult one you can see my hands i just use my fingers to support now the important thing is your body is flat all right so this is the first exercise you can try to hold here for 30, 30 seconds first. Three, zero first. And then you can hold longer. All right? Now, and then gradually you feel your fingers become stronger. That's the first exercise. And then the next one is from the first exercise, say finger support, and then hands. All right, use your hands. And then fingers. Hands, fingers, hands, fingers, hands, fingers, hands, like this. Sorry, the ground little bit <laughs> too muddy or okay, not, not strong enough. So try to do on the soil first, and then once you're getting better, you can try to do it on the concrete. Ah, on the concrete is more difficult. So try to do on the normal ground like this. See, normal ground first. Hands, fingers, hands. Fingers like this. So this is the second exercise. How many you should do? You can try 10, 10 times, or 10 times each. Make it, make it easier. And then the third one, it's a bit challenge. It's not too challenge. Use your fingers to support, to do push up. Keep your body flat. See, push up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
pain. Pain push-ups will be all right. All right. And then the, the last one, the fourth one is using your fingers to support one hand. See? One hand. Swap. Like this. All right. And uh, if you think this one is too difficult, um, don't do this one. Just train the first three. All right. If you think which one is quite a challenge for you, don't do it. You think it's too dangerous. Your finger's not strong, too strong yet. Just do. Just train the first one. Uh, gradually, your finger becomes stronger. You can move on to the next one. All right. And also for those of you, if you think. Those four exercises, not too difficult for you. You can just do it. All right. You can do the first round. Once you finish the four, those four exercises, you think, all right. You don't do the next round. You can just repeat next round. All right. That's the exercise to help you to build up the strength for your fingers. And next, we are going to practice some fundamental training for the praying mantis. We're going to practice mantis strike. Okay, horizontally first, and then we're gonna come back with our step, with our steps together. All right. Now, make it easier. I face at you, body naturally straight. Let's do it together. Is your right hand? They are ready. See, first row is no more hands, and then the mind is hands ready. Right hand, your right arm put above. About the wrist area, we're gonna do like this. See, your spine from this side is clockwise. Clockwise. Spin to the clockwise. Same as when you make a strike, you do clockwise. For me, it's clockwise. If uh, you watch from this way, see? From this way, it's clockwise. All right? Now, from the center line, body naturally straight. And then you can see my back view. So I do forward. Facing forward first. Body naturally straight. Mind his hands ready. Right hand. Put it on top. So right arm, put it on top of your left arm. Clockwise. Left leg step out. Into horse stance. <laughs> Straight to the side away. You see that? Side away. And then I do circle. Strike to the other way. So this is quite a basic. And then you circle, slowly, strike. Circle, strike. Finish with your right arm still above. Anti, see, sorry, still clockwise back. Anti clockwise for you if you're watching it. For me, it's clockwise okay now we'll do one more time and then we can move on to the next round all right so spotty naturally straight right arm above your left arm clockwise straight circle straight circle straight together <laughs> So this strike is from here. I circle, strike it this way, and then I go see like this, going this way. All right. Now let's see my back view. All right, my back view. My left hand, and then I go into horse strike. Get up. Finish. I only do six, six times, so you can do more. The next one, we're gonna add our step with our step together. Step together is 
Okay, so this way you can see, I, I, hop, shwa. So circle, still circle, circle, strike it like this. And then, doing mantis stance. Now be aware, so this move has an application part as well. The application part is, think about the, uh, someone standing here, I'm trying to, Shot my leg, trying to strike at this someone here, and then use my leg to kick their leg, kick their feet. Alright, so someone will fall over. And then, and then I chop with my mantis hand, and then I do, from my side, I do clockwise. So for you, you're watching right now, is anti clockwise. So the other way you can see is clockwise. Okay? Always do clockwise. Will be easier for you. Don't make it too complicated. Alright, so now let's combine our step together. Uh, from this weight. My this hands. Strap. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slowly circle. Circle, kick with your heel, and then into horse stance, my right arm, chop, and then you do clockwise. And then I do circle back so to this way, drop leg, hook foot, and then my left arm. Chop. See? And then repeat. Back. Okay, make it slower. Chop. So you can see. In the next training session, we're gonna practice chop, chop, okay? And gradually help you to build up the mantis style. All right. So if you if you want if you want to watch more training tutorials step by step, don't forget to visit our online training course. All right. If you have any questions, please leave your comment down below. Happy training, happy life. See you next time.